Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, has turned my wrath away from the children of Israel, in that he was jealous with my jealousy among them, so that I didn't consume the children of Israel in my jealousy. Therefore say, Behold, I give to him my covenant of peace, and it shall be to him and to his seed after him the covenant of an everlasting priesthood, because he was jealous for his God and made atonement for the children of Israel. Now the name of the man of Israel that was slain, who was slain with the Midianite woman, was Zimri, the son of Salu, a prince of a father's house among the Simeonites. The name of the Midianite woman who was slain was Cosby, the daughter of Zur. He was head of the people of a father's house in Midian. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Harass the Midianites and strike them, for they harassed you with their wiles, with which they have deceived you in the matter of Peor and in the matter of Cosby, the daughter of the prince of Midian, their sister, who was slain on the day of the plague in the matter of Peor. It happened after the plague that Yahweh spoke to Moses and to Eleazar, the son of Aaron the priest, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel, from twenty years old and upward, by their fathers' houses, all who are able to go forth to war in Israel. Moses and Eleazar the priest spoke with them in the plains of Moab by the Jordan at Jericho, saying, Take a census of the people from twenty years old and upward, as Yahweh commanded Moses and the children of Israel. These are those that came out of the land of Egypt. Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, the sons of Reuben, of Hanok, the family of the Hanokites, of Palu, the family of the Paluites, of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Carmi, the family of the Carmites. These are the families of the Reubenites, and those who were numbered of them were 43,730. The sons of Palu, Eliab. The sons of Eliab, Nimuel, and Dathan, and Abiram. These are that Dathan and Abiram who were called of the congregation who strove against Moses and against Aaron, in the company of Korah, when they strove against Yahweh. And the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korah, when that company died, what time the fire devoured two hundred fifty men, and they became a sign. Notwithstanding, the sons of Korah didn't die. the sons of Simeon after their families, of Nemuel, the family of the Nemuelites, of Jamin, the family of the Jaminites, of Jekin, the family of the Jekinites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites, of Shaul, the family of the Shaulites, these are the families of the Simeonites, 22,200. 
the sons of Gad after their families. Of Zephon, the family of the Zephonites. Of Haggi, the family of the Haggites. Of Shunai, the family of the Shunites. Of Oznai, the family of the Oznites. Of Uri, the family of the Urites. Of Arod, the family of the Arodites. Of Arilai, the family of the Arilites. These are the families of the sons of Gad, according to those who were numbered of them, 40,500. The sons of Judah, Er and Onan. And Ur and Onan died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Judah after their families were of Shelah, the family of the Shelanites, of Perez, the family of the Perizzites, of Zerah, the family of the Zerahites. The sons of Perez were of Hezron, the family of the Hezronites, of Hamul, the family of the Hamulites. These are the families of Judah, according to those who were numbered of them, 76,500. The sons of Issachar after their families, of Tola, the family of the Tolaites, of Puva, the family of the Punites, of Jashub, the family of the Jashubites, of Shimron, the family of the Shimronites. These are the families of Issachar, according to those who were numbered of them, 64,300. The sons of Zebulun, after their families, of Sered, the family of the Seredites, of Elon, the family of the Elonites, of Jaliel, the family of the Jalielites. These are the families of the Zebulonites, according to those who were numbered of them, 60,500. The sons of Joseph after their families, Manasseh and Ephraim. The sons of Manasseh, of Makir, the family of the Makerites. And Makir became the father of Gilead, of Gilead, the family of the Gileadites. These are the sons of Gilead, of Lezer the family of the Lezerites, of Helek, the family of the Helekites, and of Azrael, the family of the Azraelites, and of Shechem, the family of the Shechemites, and of Shemida, the family of the Shemidaites, and of Hefer, the family of the Heferites. Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, had no sons but daughters, and the names of the daughters of Zelophehad were Mala and Noah, Hogla, Milcah, and Terza. These are the families of Manasseh, and those who were numbered of them were 52,700. These are the sons of Ephraim after their families, of Shuthala, the family of the Shuthalahites, of Beecher, the family of the Beecherites, of Tyan, the family of the Tyanites. These are the sons of Shuthala, of Aaron, the family of the Aaronites. These are the families of the sons of Ephraim, according to those who were numbered of them, 32,500. 
These are the sons of Joseph after their families. The sons of Benjamin after their families. Of Bela, the family of the Belaites. Of Ashbel, the family of the Ashbelites. Of Ahiram, the family of the Ahiramites. Of Shephupham, the family of the Shuthamites. Of Hupham, the family of the Hupamites. The sons of Bela were Ard and Naaman. Of Ard, the family of the Ardites. Of Naaman, the family of the Naamites. These are the sons of Benjamin after their families, and those who were numbered of them were 45,600. These are the sons of Dan after their families, of Shuhem, the family of the Shuhemites. These are the families of Dan after their families. All the families of the Shuhamites, according to those who were numbered of them, were 64,400. The sons of Asher after their families, of Imna, the family of the Imnites, of Ishvi, the family of the Ishvites, of Beriah, the family of the Berites. Of the sons of Beriah, of Heber, the family of the Heberites. Of Malkiel, the family of the Malkielites. The name of the daughter of Asher was Sarah. These are the families of the sons of Asher, according to those who were numbered of them, 53,400. The sons of Naphtali after their families, of Jaziel, the family of the Jazielites, of Gunai, the family of the Gunites, of Jazer, the family of the Jazerites, of Shilim, the family of the Shilimites. These are the families of Naphtali according to their families, and those who were numbered of them were 45,400. These are those who were numbered of the children of Israel, 601,730. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, To these, the land shall be divided for an inheritance, according to the number of names. To the more you shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer you shall give the less inheritance. To everyone, according to those who were numbered of him, shall his inheritance be given. Notwithstanding, the land shall be divided by lot. According to the names of the tribes of their fathers, they shall inherit. According to the lot shall their inheritance be divided between the more and the fewer. These are those who were numbered of the Levites after their families. Of Gershon, the family of the Gershonites, of Kohath, the family of the Kohathites, of Merari, the family of the Merarites. These are the families of Levi, the family of the Libnites, the family of the Hebronites, the family of the Malites, the family of the Mushites, the family of the Korahites. Kohath became the father of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, the daughter of Levi, who was born to Levi in Egypt. 
and she bore to Amram Aaron and Moses, and Miriam their sister. To Aaron were born Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. Nadab and Abihu died when they offered strange fire before Yahweh. Those who were numbered of them were twenty-three thousand, every male from a month old and upward, for they were not numbered among the children of Israel, because there was no inheritance given them among the children of Israel. These are those who were numbered by Moses and Eleazar the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the plains of Moab, by the Jordan at Jericho. But among these there was not a man of them who were numbered by Moses and Aaron the priest, who numbered the children of Israel in the wilderness of Sinai. For Yahweh had said of them, They shall surely die in the wilderness. There was not left a man of them, except Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua the son of Nun. Then drew near the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hepher, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, of the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, and Hogla, and Milka, and Terza. They stood before Moses, and before Eleazar the priest, and before the princes and all the congregation, at the door of the tent of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, and he was not among the company of those who gathered themselves together against Yahweh in the company of Korah. But he died in his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be taken away from among his family, because he had no son? Give to us a possession among the brothers of our father. Moses brought their cause before Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophehad speak right. You shall surely give them a possession of an inheritance among their father's brothers, and you shall cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, if a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. If he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his kinsman, who is next to him of his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be to the children of Israel a statute and ordinance, as Yahweh commanded Moses. Yahweh said to Moses, Go up into this mountain of Abarim, and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel. When you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people, as Aaron your brother was gathered. Because you rebelled against my word in the wilderness of Zen, in the strife of the congregation, to sanctify me at the waters before their eyes. These are the waters of Meribah of Kadesh in the wilderness of Zen. Moses spoke to Yahweh, 
saying, Let Yahweh, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation, who may go out before them, and who may come in before them, and who may lead them out, and who may bring them in, that the congregation of Yahweh not be as sheep which have no shepherd. Yahweh said to Moses, Take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him, and set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and commission him in their sight. You shall put of your honor on him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may obey. He shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before Yahweh. At his word shall they go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the children of Israel with him even all the congregation. Moses did as Yahweh commanded him, and he took Joshua and set him before Eleazar the priest and before all the congregation. And he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as Yahweh spoke by Moses. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and tell them, My offering, my food for my offerings made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to me, you shall observe to offer to me in their due season. You shall tell them, this is the offering made by fire, which you shall offer to Yahweh. Male lambs, a year old, without blemish. Two, day by day, for a continual burnt offering. You shall offer the one lamb in the morning, and you shall offer the other lamb at evening with the tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering, mixed with the fourth part of a hen of beaten oil. It is a continual burnt offering, which was ordained in Mount Sinai for a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Its drink offering shall be the fourth part of a hen for the one lamb. You shall pour out a drink offering of strong drink to Yahweh in the holy place. The other lamb you shall offer at evening as the meal offering of the morning and as the drink offering of it. You shall offer it an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. On the Sabbath day, two male lambs, a year old, without blemish, and two tenth parts of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering, mixed with oil, and the drink offering of it, this is the burnt offering of every Sabbath, besides the continual burnt offering, and the drink offering of it. In the beginnings of your months, you shall offer a burnt offering to Yahweh, two young bulls and one ram, seven male lambs, a year old, without blemish, 
and three tenth parts of an ephah of fine flour for a meal offering, mixed with oil for each bull, and two tenth parts of fine flour for a meal offering, mixed with oil for the one ram, and a tenth part of fine flour mixed with oil for a meal offering to every lamb, for a burnt offering of a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Their drink offerings shall be half a hen of wine for a bull, and the third part of a hen for the ram, and the fourth part of a hen for a lamb. This is the burnt offering of every month throughout the months of the year. One male goat for a sin offering to Yahweh. It shall be offered besides the continual burnt offering and the drink offering of it. In the first month, on the fourteenth day of the month, is Yahweh's Passover. On the fifteenth day of this month shall be a feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. In the first day shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work but you shall offer an offering made by fire, a burnt offering to Yahweh, two young bulls, and one ram, and seven male lambs a year old. They shall be to you without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, you shall offer three tenth parts for a bull, and two tenth parts for the ram. You shall offer a tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs, and one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you. You shall offer these besides the burnt offering of the morning which is for a continual burnt offering. In this way you shall offer daily, for seven days, the food of the offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. It shall be offered besides the continual burnt offering, and the drink offering of it. On the seventh day, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work. Also, in the day of the first fruits, when you offer a new meal offering to Yahweh in your feast of weeks, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work but you shall offer a burnt offering for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, two young bulls, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, and their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three tenth parts for each bull, two tenth parts for the one ram, a tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs, one male goat to make atonement for you, besides the continual burnt offering and the meal offering of it, you shall offer them. They shall be to you without blemish. And their drink offerings. In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work. It is a day of blowing of trumpets to you. You shall offer a burnt offering.
for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. One young bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old without blemish, and their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three tenth parts for the bull, two tenth parts for the ram, and one tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs, and one male goat for a sin offering to make atonement for you. Besides the burnt offering of the new moon and the meal offering of it, and the continual burnt offering and the meal offering of it, and their drink offerings, according to their ordinance, for a pleasant aroma, an offering made by fire to Yahweh. On the tenth day of this seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation, and you shall afflict your souls. You shall do no kind of work, but you shall offer a burnt offering to Yahweh for a pleasant aroma. One young bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old. They shall be to you without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three tenth parts for the bull, two tenth parts for the ram, a tenth part for every lamb of the seven lambs. One male goat for a sin offering, besides the sin offering of atonement, and the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering of it, and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day, of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no servile work, and you shall keep a feast to Yahweh seven days. And you shall offer a burnt offering, an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. Thirteen young bulls, two rams, Fourteen male lambs a year old. They shall be without blemish. And their meal offering, fine flour mixed with oil, three tenth parts for every bull of the thirteen bulls, two tenth parts for each ram of the two rams, and a tenth part for every lamb of the fourteen lambs, and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering, the meal offering of it, and the drink offering of it. On the second day you shall offer twelve young bulls, two rams, Fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering and the meal offering of it, and their drink offerings. On the third day, eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, without blemish, and their meal offering, and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, 
and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering of it, and the drink offering of it. On the fourth day, ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering, the meal offering of it, and the drink offering of it. On the fifth day, nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering of it, and the drink offering of it. On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, and their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering, the meal offering of it, and the drink offerings of it. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, without blemish, and their meal offering, and their drink offerings, for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs, according to their number, after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering, besides the continual burnt offering, the meal offering of it, and the drink offering of it. On the eighth day you shall have a solemn assembly. You shall do no servile work, but you shall offer a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, one bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old without blemish, their meal offering and their drink offerings for the bull, for the ram, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the ordinance, and one male goat for a sin offering besides the continual burnt offering, and the meal offering of it, and the drink offering of it. You shall offer these to Yahweh in your set feasts, besides your vows, and your freewill offerings, for your burnt offerings, and for your meal offerings, and for your drink offerings, and for your peace offerings. Moses told the children of Israel according to all that Yahweh commanded Moses.